when we wrote the string broadcaster we see that it it when it when you send a message it sends the it it, it sticks the number corresponding to the client to the other thing so here because this one was from one we got a one there um and because that one was from zero we got a zero what i'd like to do is try and see if i can improve it so instead of doing zeros and ones it does the name of the of the uh of the client so client, the users of the clients can the first message they can send their name, and then that gets used later on. So let's see how we could do that. So I haven't actually written this. I want this is an experiment to see if I can write a program while recording without. Um, so first, I'm going to do is I'm going to copy um, <coughs> string broadcaster. Java to uh, oops string broadcaster dot Java to string broadcaster with a name dot Java. So I've copied it. Oh, what did I do wrong? There's something went funny there. Hold on. There we go. Oops, copy it. Right. So now I'm going to edit the new file I've just created there we go so let's <coughs> change it let's edit it as we can see if we can make it do what we want to do so first we've got to change that to name so that matches the thing so the first message is going to from the client is going to be its name. So what we can do is we can we can we can have a variable called name here, which is a string like that. And then here the first read we do. So before we go into that loop, we can say string we can say um, name equals uh, <coughs> s dot next um, let's try that so now instead of appending n we can append name so that seems quite simple let's try that so let's um, compile our there is so let's run it and um, blah 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 that's compiled let's kill these clients because we want some new clients so now there's my first client Here's my second client, and here's my third client. Right, we've got three clients now. So now we've done it. So the first message, it should treat that as the name. So let's put uh, John here. So Eric and Mary. So we've told the uh, server what the names are, and so now if I type hello, so now we've got something saying John saying hello. I'm going to say, what do you want? Ah, what do you want? What do you want? It's sort of worked, but it's put them all on separate things. It's, so when we read the string, what's going on there quite? Ah, so it only takes, so um, if I say, uh, let's try again, let's do this one, see what happens. Bye, bye. So what it's doing is every time we're reading the string, it's only doing one line. 
Now that was a problem with the other program too, so how do we change that? So Hasnext is only reading the um, is only reading a single string. So we want to improve that. So um, how do we we want to read a whole we want to read a whole line. So um, not sure how to do that. So let's look at uh, let's go and have a look at scanner. See if that can tell us. So we go to scanner. I should have said Java scanner. Unless we're getting all these image scanners. So now we've got scanner. Um, um, is the next? Is there anything here? Ah, next line. I should have used next line instead of next. So if I change that to next line, it should work fine. So I can make this one next line. And I could make this one next line. Try that. So now I've got to... Um, Kill the kill those. Kill all the clients. Now I start up the. I start. I recompile the server. Run the server. Get a couple of clients up. There's one. There's another. There's another. So let's see if this works. Let's make that Eric. This one John. And this one Mary. So now if I type something in here. Hello all. So Mary saying hello all. What do you want. So that seems to be working fine now. We've got the names of the, so that was quite easy to change to get it to do the names rather than the, rather than the, um, the numbers. So let's just show you the code quickly again. Um, basically I have a single read um, to get the name. Now I think what what will happen if we fire up a, a client and don't do anything at all? So let's fire up another client. If we kill it straight away, is that going to cause a problem? Uh, let's see. Ah, I thought it would. Well, it's caused a problem, but it doesn't seem to be a serious one. So the problem was um, it was waiting to read a next line. So we we should, if we were really good, we'd put a, um, a, an exception in there. But it, it seems to be working fine. So that's an uh, example of me just sort of developing a program as I'm going along. Um, so it would be interesting to see how you do the same thing.